I mean, I think the best way to get out of an ELA that you're stuck in is to first realize that you're stuck in the ELA because you belong there. That's that's just how the system works. It's not like, oh shit, we gotta personally drag this guy down to this ELA. Make sure he never reaches his true potential. It's like, nah dude, you fucking suck, so you're gonna get stuck at this ELO until you improve. We need... If you ever start a sentence with my team, if you if you say anything about your team when it's like I'm stuck at this ELO, then you're stuck at that ELO for a reason. <laughs> like if anywhere in the sentence it doesn't involve you and it's like, man, my team, they can't do this, they can't fucking farm, they can't carry my stupid ass, it's like, okay. <laughs> Well, you got bigger problems there, buddy. <laughs> Should I really be reported for verbal abuse when I ask my team to buy wards? Okay, that I mean, I don't have much control over that one, but yeah. I mean, honestly, I think the best thing to do at lower elos is to just not type. Because when you type, they'll just take anything as like... <laughs> Those people are on edge. Like, if you say anything, like, hey, dude, could you buy a word? They'll be like, the fuck did you say to me? You think I'm not buying enough words, motherfucker? I spent, like, my entire fucking game buying words. Like, anything will put them on tilt. So it's best to just, like, don't say anything. Just communicate through ping. But even with pings, you gotta be careful, because if you ping, like, danger, they're gonna be like, shut the fuck up, you stupid ass. I know what my champion's capable of.